If you ask most basketball fans, who is your favorite player? Most are going to respond, Jordan or Kobe. I asked members of the Magic who they idolized growing up. Listen to see what they had to say. Uh, well, of course, Horace Grant, uh, Charles Barkley, Sean Kemp. Um, I'd say about those three. Those three. Um, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, uh, D. Wade. I mean, I watch all the greats, really. So, you know, I just love basketball in general. You know, I've never really had someone that, you know, just all my all-time favorite. I just had favorites, you know, plural. So it was crazy. Um, I mean, in college, I used to watch a lot of, you know, Al Jefferson clips. I think he's, he's one of my favorite players in the league. So Kevin Garnett fan, Elton Brand, guys like that that I kind of resented myself of. Um, you know, Shaq. You know, those are my favorite players growing up. Uh, when I was extremely young, I used to watch uh, Byron Scott a lot. Uh, then growing up, uh, I used to watch Kobe Bryant and uh, Michael Jordan. Um, idolize. I was still my favorite player ever is Charles Barkley and Allen Iverson, mainly because those two guys, I grew up seeing them the most and, and two undersized guys in their position, um, but dominated their position as well. Pistol Pete, Maravich, um, Isaiah Thomas, and um, those are my two main guys that I really uh, enjoyed watching when I was a kid. So when I say watching, learning about, because I was too young to actually watch them play, um, but uh, I was taught the game through, through them, through their style from my cousin. So I watched a lot of film on those guys. Um, I'd say two of my favorite players were uh, Trace McGrady and Jason Williams. Um, Trace McGrady, of course, was awesome at the time. You know, he hitting 50 every night. Um, Jason Williams throwing the fancy passes. He just made it fun. I want to play basketball, so. Um, uh, I had a lot of the obvious ones. You know, Michael Jordan, um, Dennis Rodman, Scottie Pippen. You know, those guys always on TV and things like that. As I grew a little older, I went to, um, hmm, I don't know. Tim Duncan, I always liked Tim Duncan. He was one of my favorites, but just just any kid that any 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 NBA player that a kid would like, I liked. Um, Michael Jordan, uh, Kobe Bryant, Trace McGrady. Um, those are pretty much the guys I looked at, you know, growing up. You know. Is there anything these players took from their idols and try to implement into their own game? Uh, just a hard work every night, coming in, working hard. I tried to drill anything a little bit like Charles. It wasn't it wasn't working out for me, so I had to you know, move on to something else, being physical down low, being you know six 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 seven. I had to play bigger than everybody else. Yeah, you just you know you, you look at what you can do and you see the same things in yourself. I mean, in them that you see in yourself. So you know you know Kevin Garnett was a perimeter guy, big guy who used to really mobile. Elton Brand was more of like an undersized guy who can do a lot of things. Shaq was just a strong, dominant guy, and I try to, you know, take that. Um, yeah, Dennis Rodman. Um, he does a lot of like crazy things, and I don't do that much crazy stuff. But um, I like I, li I like that about that. And him diving in the crowd, diving on the floor, it gets the team going. I like to I like to do that kind of stuff for this team. Uh, just just to be tough. I mean, those two guys were known as two tough players. Played through injuries and. Uh, you know, it did work whenever they stepped on the court. I think one thing I really like, I really want to take is just every their mentality and, you know, make it consistent in mind. You know, they, they, their approach to the game is, is unreal. It's on another level. So I think I just need to take that and make it consistent in mind. Um, Pistol Pete was more of that, you know, he's extremely flashy, more about entertaining the fans. Um, but his skill set was so, um, so advanced, uh, especially for the game back then. And his story was very interesting to me. Um, so uh, I was more intrigued by that and uh, the things that he could do with a basketball. You know, he could do so many different ball handling tricks and, uh, you know, uh, flashy things. And, and that attracted me as a kid to uh, want to be creative with the game of basketball and try to, you know, do some of the things that he did. And then uh, Isaiah Thomas, he was a shorter guy. So, uh, you know, he was one of the shorter guys that I that had a lot of success in the league so uh, me being a guy that knew I wasn't going to be that tall you know I kind of 
uh, followed those guys, you know, followed a lot of the point guards and the shorter guards that were aggressive and had success to see what they did. Yeah. Uh, just their character, the will to win was just unbelievable, you know. They did a good job doing that. I love um, MJ and Kobe's approach to the game, um, you know, their passion to win. Uh, what they do out there on the basketball court, two wooden game. So, um, you know, that really stuck with me. You know, the way they play is fun and make me want to go out there and practice moves and, you know, just have fun with the game. Um, he's a great post up game, you know, so I, I tried to, you know, just watch what he does and implement it in my game. So, um, I don't know why I took a liking to Byron Scott so much at five years old. Uh, <laughs> I just did. Um, uh, with Kobe Bryant and, and Michael Jordan, uh, in particular, just because they were two of the best at their position, uh, which was my position um, in my er in my era and in their era. So, um, you know, just when you want to be a better player, you know, I think the best idea is to learn from the best. Reporting for OrlandoMagic.com, I'm Danielle Maslany.